The Danis stent is approved by NICE to treat uncontrolled variceal bleeding in adults. It provides tamponade to the bleeding site, whilst also permitting continued dietary intake. Danis has several unique features for optimal performance and can remain in situ for up to seven days. Danis comes preloaded on a delivery system. Everything required is included within the Danis pack. Key features of the delivery system are outlined here. A 0.035-inch wire within the Danis pack can be placed at gastroscopy to aid placement of the stent. Before removing, the gastroscope is used to measure the distance from the gastroesophageal junction to the mouthpiece. Add 5 cm to this measurement and then advance the yellow protecting plate and ring to this distance on the stent delivery system. The system is then advanced over the wire until the yellow plate meets the mouthpiece. The blue lock, numbered 1, is then removed, and whilst fixing the blue sheath in position, the delivery system is advanced until the white lock, numbered 2, meets the blue sheath handle. This pushes the olive, balloon and distal end of the stent out of the end of the delivery sheath. 120 millilitres of air should then be used to inflate the balloon. The balloon valve is one way and allows the 60 milliliter syringe provided to simply be pumped twice without need for removing in between. The entire system should then be withdrawn until resistance is felt, indicating that the balloon has engaged and has fixed the distal end of the stent at the gastroesophageal junction. It is imperative that moderate traction is maintained on the system to prevent the balloon from disengaging and causing the stent to migrate forward prior to deployment. The white lock, number 2, is then removed, and whilst maintaining modest traction on the entire system, the blue handle should then be pulled smoothly towards the end of the system, engaging over the safety valve. This deploys the stent and deflates the balloon. For additional safety, the syringe and balloon valve should be disconnected, waiting 5 seconds to ensure complete deflation of the balloon. The entire system can then be removed.